What's happening guys, it's Shane here again. Today I brought somebody on the channel who actually tried out a digital marketing boot camp, and they're gonna talk about their experience going through the boot camp, and then they're also gonna talk about their experience going through a different course which they had a much better time with. So I'm really excited to bring Devante onto the channel today. I think you're gonna learn a lot about this one. I know a lot of people have asked me to talk about digital marketing boot camps, which I am making a video on that. It should be out here uh, pretty soon. So for those people, uh, you're really gonna enjoy this video. Definitely watch it until the end. Uh, gently tap that like button if you appreciate this type of video and let's jump right into it. Okay, well, hey, Devante, thank you so much for coming on the channel and uh, kind of talking about your digital marketing journey and your experience with the digital marketing bootcamp, as well as a different digital marketing course uh, that you took and how you were able to uh, land the job. I really appreciate you coming on today. Thank you, uh, Shane, for having me uh, today. I really appreciate it. I'm excited about being on here with you today. Awesome, awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and just start at the beginning, if you don't mind, kind of just uh, take me back to when you first discovered digital marketing and kind of what made you interested in it. One day, you know, I was already in, in kind of real estate, so I was already kind of in the marketing thing. Um, and he had he had uh, Seth, Seth Himes on there who had a digital marketing course. Um, so I was like, I'll try it out. See, maybe this could help me with real estate. Took the course and realized I just like digital marketing by itself. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to try to merge real estate and digital marketing together um which still hasn't happened yet but i, I want to get to that point to make that happen um but yeah i bought the course in around 2018 i started taking it um of course i kind of uh have did the course i didn't really go all the way through because i thought i had gotten out of the course what i needed wasn't the case i started applying for jobs that wasn't working but i was also had a full-time job and trying to build a real estate business at the same time so um kind of stepped away from that and then boom pops up a um digital marketing boot camp <laughs> in the city that I was living in at the time. Um, and when that popped up, I'm like, okay, I already kind of know digital marketing. They marketed it as if they were going to help with you know getting you a job and helping you um network with different uh marketing companies. So I signed up, I got accepted, and I did six months in that digital marketing boot camp. Um what I will say is that I could have just um, not <laughs> went through that and just stayed with the course course that I use with Seth Himes because I learned more than enough in that course to get a get a job, as I found out later. <laughs> but, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Oh, sorry, sorry for interrupting. I was just gonna say, yeah, I'm, I'm doing research on the on the digital marketing boot camps, and they're they're just not that good overall. They they don't get great results overall for people. Um, there's a lot of other types of boot camps that get much better results for sure, uh, overall than the digital marketing type. So I'm not surprised to hear that. Um, so a little bit more with this, like when I got there, because I knew of digital marketing from, from the course that I had. So I under, I understand email marketing, SEO, PPC, you know, things like that. So when I got in the boot camp, I thought that was just going to enhance everything you know that i had already kind of learned more so because it was a bigger name you know more in institution instead of just some one-off course offline as i you know i thought at the time um and really all i learned in the boot camp was basically basic marketing tactics and make kind of how to structure content but didn't really you know learn any real ppc or seo or anything you know so the things that were promised wasn't given and it was also funny because um i think some of my class had some type of experience as i had so about halfway through <laughs> through the boot camp half my class left i put up a big you know like we're not learning anything we don't feel like you know this is worth it and they left <laughs> so the, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, not saying all of them are like that but you know that was my experience um with the boot camp got it got it yeah um so basically kind of from from what you've told me so far um you were sort of uh you you sort of wanted to get into digital marketing so you could learn skills to integrate with uh your real estate business because you were a real estate agent and right. um you sort of kind of bounced around to a few different things you, you you went through seth's course which by the way is totally normal because you're you're entrepreneurial 
same thing with me. I tried so many different things before I found yeah. something that was kind of a good fit for me. So totally normal to do that. It happens to everybody, I'd say. Um, but then you sort of realize that the digital marketing boot camp, even though it was probably much more expensive uh, than, than Seth's course, like maybe 10, 15, 20, 100 times more expensive, um, it actually wasn't nearly as good as Seth's course. So you kind of like went back to uh, Seth's course and you you started studying it again, I believe is uh, is what you're telling me. You started studying it again, like maybe 2020, 2021. Yep. So to go back on the pricing of the boot camp, um, it actually goes based off of how much you make. So your first job, that's how much there was. There, of course, there's caps. There's a cap on how much and there's a cap on if you don't make enough, you don't have to like start paying right away. And then if you make too much, there's a cap of this is how much you can pay. So it was based off of how much you made the first job you got. So you would actually be paying more the more money that you made. You know, so that that's kind of how they went. And they also let it be known because I asked, I'm like, can I pay this off lump sum? Because I was in real estate. So I could, you know, those, you know, and they was like, No, you have to pay in payments. I'm like, so we can't pay lump sum. <laughs> they was like, No. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I actually started that boot camp. I got self course in 2018, started the boot camp in 2020. Um, actually, no, started the boot camp in 2019, graduated in January of 2020 from the boot camp. Um, and then I got a few in between then I had got a few uh, internships um, and things like that. But the internships, they they weren't just I just like this isn't really digital marketing. I feel like I was just getting busy work. I didn't feel like I was learning anything. Um, so, again, kind of bounced around um, and then got with my real estate company uh, back here in uh, Kentucky and started running Facebook ads. Um uh, and that was uh, 20, like the end of 2020, 2021, I was running Facebook ads for them. So I got a little bit of experience with that. Um, and then I went back to self course <laughs> and I actually went through the whole entire thing. Um, I did all the exercises of building my own uh, site, my own blog site, you know, things like that, just trying to get um, experience. And then I just started applying. Um, and uh, originally I was trying to do PPC. Um, that wasn't working out too well. So I started also applying for SEO positions and um, I got my first SEO job in um, earlier this year in April. I started at the end of April as an SEO specialist. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, um, I, I I mentioned this to you earlier. I'm actually in the process of hiring somebody for SEO right now. So, yeah, it is it is such a hot market for sure. And there's so many like little niche positions that people if you if you're not in SEO you would never even guess <laughs> these are positions sure. um it's not just like one like type of SEO job there's probably like 10 different types of SEO jobs you can do so yeah SEO a lot of opportunity there that's awesome so how long a after you uh finished the course for the second time how long did it take you to land that uh SEO position um it took me i think i got done with the course in march and i had a job out in april wow so that's about, fast. Um, that's about fast. A month. but like i said but like I, said, I had been through the course before and like actually several times but this was the first time i actually did the work of like building the sites and actually doing the wordpress i kept going through the course trying to like try to you know do the easy route like yeah i, I know the vocab words so i'm gonna start applying but it wasn't until i actually really sat down and did the work of building my own portfolio site building my own blog site that's when I got a. That's when I got a um, job. So in that month, that's kind of what I spent doing of was building my my portfolio, and then I started to apply. Once I had something I could put on my resume that they can click on and see. Got you. Yeah, the the portfolio side is key because that's how you get around that that kind of like catch twenty two situation of all the jobs require one to three. All the all the jobs are entry level, but they require one to three years of experience. And that's a great way of kind of getting around that that meme <laughs> is like you create anybody, your own experience. Right. And for anybody who thinks it's got to be perfect, like you like I, my website, my blog and stuff is still live. It, I'm, I'm going to redo it. <laughs> it's horrible. It is bad. But my blog site doesn't have a favorite kind, nor does it does my uh, 
portfolio site. And I didn't notice that until I got my position and started understanding more of SEO and how to do stuff more in WordPress. So I went back and looked at my site. I'm like, this is pretty bad. But you just got to have something, <laughs> you know, because as you said before, it's hard to find people that do this. So even if you have something, you already ahead of probably 90 percent of the people if you just have something, <laughs> you know. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's one of those things as well that it, like it changes so quickly, like the way the SEO was done even like three or four years ago is different than the way it's done now. And same for pay-per-click and stuff like that, too. So it's like, you know, colleges, for instance, will never be able to catch up to digital marketing though because by the time they get a curriculum together what they're teaching is is going to be what worked like five or ten years ago it's not what works right now so the the best way to learn uh digital marketing is to just get a job in digital marketing that's by far the best way to learn and you know the best way to get a job is to figure out how you can demonstrate like know what skills you need to have and then demonstrate those skills with a portfolio the portfolio website. That's kind of what Seth teaches uh, in the course. Um, so I did want to kind of talk a little bit about uh, kind of personality. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a type of personality that does well in digital marketing? Or do you think that there's kind of like a sort of a position for everybody, whether they're introverted or extroverted, or they're creative, or they're really analytical? Um, I analytical for sure because <laughs> because digital marketing is all about numbers and data so that's the that's the, that's actually just marketing in general it's not even just digital marketing so if you're thinking about doing anything marketing you kind of want to be slightly i'm not the biggest math person or analytical person but you know i know how to read numbers and when you're dealing with seo you're gonna have to get into google analytics a little bit too so you definitely you know you're gonna have to be able to you know be analytical um when it comes to like introvert or extroverted it's weird for me because i i'm half and half <laughs> like because like i told you before I, my background's in real estate so i understand i'm not the typical salesperson i'm more of an introverted salesperson but when i have to talk to people and sell you might think i'm extroverted <laughs> so you know i feel like in digital marketing is either because like i wanted to be the introverted when i started off i just want to do the work i don't want to sit in any other client meetings i don't want to talk to any clients i don't want to do anything i don't want to sit in any of the proposals or anything i don't want to do that but in the position they offered me that they was like do you want to sit and talk to the clients do you want to sit in some of these proposals when we're talking to you know potential new clients like so if you're extroverted they also give you 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 know if you maybe like well maybe i don't want to be introverted and just sit back and do the work i want to be in these meetings with the mm -hmm. with the client talking to them so that's where the the uh being extroverted that could help and then again like i said the introvert part just sitting back and just doing the work because there's plenty of work to do you could just sit at home and or in the office and just and just knock the work out so i feel like we it doesn't matter personality now team wise it does a lot of the reason i got hired which i found out was because of course i was new entry level but it was because my personality they told me they like my personality and that it worked well with the team and that's the other thing i noticed with digital marketing um and with the with seth's course is that he always talked about that it was like it's, it's about it's a it's, it's mainly about your personality because you're going to have to work with a team and communicate so if you're if you don't like people or you know, you don't like talking to people, then you probably, it's probably isn't your thing because you're going to have to, like digital marketing, especially if you're getting a job, is literally all about communication, especially mm -hmm. SEO, because SEO, you don't get results right away, as me and you spoke about. So you got to communicate like what you're doing, like what you're doing in the back end, because it could just look like you're stealing money <laughs> with mm -hmm. SEO. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. yeah, that's what I would say when it comes to personality, though, is just like, I feel like there's a role for everybody because like even if you are extroverted and you don't like the technical side of working, you can become you can be the salesperson in digital marketing, you know. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. or be an account manager and deal with all like you can if you're extroverted, you can be the account manager and deal with everybody and talk to everybody. The client just be the liaison between the clients and the team. Got it. Got it. I think that's good. I think I kind of covered all the questions I wanted to ask you. Um, so if somebody's kind of on the fence on whether they should uh, join uh, Seth's course, what would you say to them? This is not me being biased at all, but 150% by the course. There's there's no, like, 
even if you think the coursework is old, because that was my issue at first. I'm like, when I went back two years later, I'm like, maybe this doesn't, he updates it, <laughs> you know, so go get that course before you thinking about doing a boot camp or spending thousands and thousands of dollars on like some digital marketing course, go check out Seth Himes course first. Um, and then I think you should go from there. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, um, Seth does have a free masterclass, which I will go ahead and put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. If you're a little bit confused about like what SEO is or what pay-per-click is or anything like that, uh, he explains all of that in the masterclass. Um, and there is like a bunch of different like routes you can go in digital marketing. Um, and I think you'll have a pretty good idea if uh, digital marketing is a good choice for you after you watch that. So highly, highly recommend watching that. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Definitely check it out. Um, so thank you so much again, Devante, for coming on the channel and kind of telling your story. I'm sure this is going to motivate a lot of people. And uh, you did tell me off camera that uh, you're kind of uh, going on more of an entrepreneurial side of things, like you're freelancing, starting your own business now. Um, and uh, I think that's awesome. And I think digital marketing is one of the best careers to kind of uh, be a launch pad for that. So um, good luck with that. And I'm, I'm sure you'll you'll be having some success very soon with that. So thank you so much again for coming on the channel. Appreciate it. For sure. Thank you, Shane, for having me. And thank you for the kind words, man.